You are now tuned in to BFTV, Buffalo Fanatics. Let's go. It's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to hit you guys with the P O P. It's the problem or the process. The process or the problem. We're here to find out who is part of the process and who has to be gone. Welcome to the O line room. We call them the hoggies. Yeah, I mean, the big fellas, the ones that are protecting the quarterback. Protecting the quarterback you know what i'm saying but anyway let's get right into it man our left tackle in cordy glenn a lot of people are going to wonder if he's part of the problem or he's a part of the process because we didn't really see much of mr cordy glenn this year he's been nursing injuries in both his feet right not only that he's had back injuries so let's get right into what makes him part of the process or the problem now here's the deal when he's on the field when he's healthy he is an elite tackle he's one of the best in the game in the three years he's been on our team He's only allowed 8.5 sacks. In the last three years, at left tackle, he's only allowed 8.5 sacks. To me, that is the type of left tackle you want on your team. Now, the injury, I mean, the injuries are the ones that stand out to you. I mean, he only played six games last year. Being out that long kind of makes you wonder, is he part of our process going forward? Those injuries are crucial. At a position of left tackle, it makes a big difference. Now, here's the bigger difference. You are owed 14 million this year alone. Do we trade you? Do we not? I'll give you the synopsis and I'll give you the heads up at the end of this segment to let you know if he's going to be part of the process or the problem. Richie Incognito, the bully, the Buffalo bully. Let's just put it this way, man. This guy is an all pro. He is a pro bowler. There's not much negative I can say. I mean, he's he's got a cooler head. He's got his moments where he jumps out. I mean, apparently there's some rumors that he's calling people you know, racial slurs in Jacksonville. How true is that? I doubt it. Uh, based on all the uh, the nonsense that he's gone through already um, But here's the deal man 35 years of age. He's 35 years of age The only thing I could say that could that could bring him down is that the fact is father time always catches up with you So at 35 years old, do I see him slowing down? Of course, but when will he slow down? He's got one more year left on his contract I say he probably finishes out his contract and then we can decide what we decide to do with the left guard position Connor McDermott you guys probably don't know who Connor McDermott is. He's been stashed away on our roster right now. He is the right tackle. Uh, he's been uh, he's been in and out. Actually, he actually only, he only had one snap all season. Now you guys don't know who he is. He was on New England. We snatched him off New England's practice squad and we brought him to our team. So here's what you need to know: six foot eight, three hundred and seven pound man. So he's a big fella, right? Uh, very athletic. He used to play a little basketball back in his day, right? So apparently he was a big shot when he used to play back uh, back in college. So we know he's athletic enough and he can, he's nimble enough. The only problem is at six eight. 307 pounds if that's not proportionate man that's kind of light i mean we need to put you know put a little 15 20 pounds on you so that you that way you can anchor at that tackle position and one of his weaknesses is the fact that he can get bull rushed he doesn't get low he doesn't anchor he doesn't have enough bubble butt is what they want to call it sometimes so look for mr mcdermott to make some noise in the off season and push for that right tackle spot and if not he's there for depth chantrell henderson this one's a tricky one for me um, because we know the potential of Chantra Henderson. Uh, we know what he came from playing at the U. He was slated to be a first rounder, mid rounder, give or take. But because of the off field issues, he dropped all the way to the seventh and we picked him up. Now, the major deal is this. He never really got on the field because Jordan Mills took over and didn't let it let it go. He had a 10 game suspension based on the weed situation. The weed for my boy Stephen A. Smith. Uh, but that Crohn's disease is no joke. Um, and that's exactly what kept him off the field is smoking the weed for his disease with the Crohn's disease So does he come back to the squad? Is he part of our process? We have no idea. This one's a tricky and a sensitive situation uh, But I see Mr. Henderson potentially not being part of this team But I'll let you know my verdict at the end of the segment Dion Dawkins the phenomenal right 
tackle slash left guard slash left tackle the man can do it all you already know you know what i'm saying but let's let's keep it real man uh he had a solid year and if you can take over at left tackle it makes cordy glenn expandable uh that being said he had his his weaknesses he has his moments where uh, he had some bonehead plays some big holding calls but at the end of the day those are things that you can work on you already know my man Deion dawkins is going to be part of this process he is a bright star he's a bright he's got a bright future in buffalo look for my man if cordy glenn gets shipped to man that left tackle spot one two three that's exactly how it's going to be going down eric wood there's no surprise here man there's no surprise we got surprised we got shocked with his early retirement it's unfortunate he's had neck issues with that connects to his spine any blow could really render him paralyzed so he is going to end his career in buffalo um, but there is some kind of weird things going on. It seems that they're going to keep him on the roster for contractual reasons. But nonetheless, we will not have Eric Wood on our team. So we will be looking for the center position and for someone to fill that role. Speaking of that center position, Ryan Groy. Ryan Groy was picked up to be brought back. We matched an offer. Uh, we brought him back to Buffalo for reasons for this. Eric Wood being out. Ryan Groy having experience playing the center position when Eric Wood injured himself a couple years back. Uh, you look for Ryan Groy to man the center position as we fill all the all the other roles on our team. Ryan Groy is a special individual. The boy can play guard and can play center. He's versatile and he's got great size. So look for Ryan Groy to man that center position as we fill the rest of the old line holes. Vladi Dukas, my Haitian Zo, you know what I'm saying? Always uh, representing. I was a fan of Vlad Dukas coming through. You know what I mean? Castillo has some had some confidence in him, slotted him in, put John Miller on the bench, and put Vladi Dukas in. Uh, but I will say, Vladi Dukas did not start off well. Uh, but he did uh, turn out to improve his game in the middle of the season and then fell off a little bit. So it, that that position is a question mark. One thing I will say though, he is a road grader. You want a good run blocker that's who you want on your roster because that run scheme that we had going with the zone scheme worked well for a guy like Vladi Dukas, which rendered my man John Miller to the bench. So look for Vladi Dukas to be back, but not fully as a starter. Look for him to compete for that right guard position uh, on whoever we bring in, John Miller being also there and whoever we bring in into the draft. John Miller, here's the deal, man. Had a rocky rookie year, stepped his game up in the second year, his, his sophomore year, and then poo pooed the bed in his third year and then got replaced by Vladi Dukas. Here's the deal. The scheme was not a good fit for my man, John Miller. However, we got a new offensive coordinator in Dable. Dable will look to bring back that run power game, that power run game. And this is where John Miller excels. So if that is the case, he may have a shot to regain his right guard position and do what he's got to do. But that film in that scheme that we had earlier this year, uh, really, really exposed him to show that he's not versatile enough to do all schemes. And as a lineman, you want to be able to do scheming in the, in the zone block as well as the run uh, so look for John Miller to make some strides this year with the new scheme uh, and if he can stick on the roster that would be amazing but this is going to be stiff competition because we're bringing in some people for the draft and you've got uh, Vladi Dukas at nipping at your butt so uh, look for some competition at the right guard position Jordan Mills we brought Jordan Mills back um, to man the right tackle position uh, and he's got he has he's had an off and on year he's the, here's the thing about Jordan Mills he's not horrible but he's not elite he's not he's not like one of those top type tackles in the league he's just there and consistently doing what he's got to do sometimes he's great and i've seen some great games for jordan mills and i've seen some poo poo games by jordan mills but one thing he is is that he's not horrible and he's not great he'll do what he's got to do to stay on the field and that's exactly what he did he did not relinquish his spot to central henderson he retained it and did what he was supposed to do he's athletic but just not athletic enough for that right tackle position he got exposed a lot this year but look for that right tackle position to be open for competition because we're going to be bringing a whole lot of people to man that spot jordan mills is good but not good enough uh, for us to settle. That's one thing we can't do is settling for the right tackle position because that is who's going to be protecting that front side of that quarterback, right? We already got the left side of Cordy Glenn or Deion Dawkins. So on that right-hand side, we got to find out who's going to be protecting because you can't have a quarterback kind of looking 
and, and shook and scared of who's coming. He wants to have complete trust in his anchor tackles so he can look downfield and deliver. Now, we did sign some guys to future contracts. We have Josh James, Adam Redman, and DeAndre Wesley. Those guys are depth players. These guys are guys that are going to push to see if they can make the squad uh, either in for depth or practice squad. But uh, don't look too much this way. We're going to be looking for free agency and draft to fill needs and holes on this old line. So folks, here's what it comes down to. Who's going to be part of the process? And who's going to be part of the problem? Let's just go like this. Cordy Glenn. As much as I want to say he's part of the problem and we need to ship him off, there's too much money involved in shipping off Cordy Glenn. Here's the deal. He's owed $14 million this year, right? Now, if we cut or trade him, we've got to pay $11 million. But we've got to do that before March 16th. So if we wait till March 16th and we cut him before, we owe we are we are actually on the hook for 11.1 .1 mil now if we wait till after march 16th he's due 6.5 million dollars guess what that puts him up to 17.5 mil 17.1 excuse me my math is all effed up 17.6 mil right now if we wait two more days after that march 18th that's up to 19.6 million dollars that we are on the hook for so to me financially do not get rid of him Keep him on the roster at $14 million. Hope that he's healthy because a healthy Cordy Glenn is fantastic for us. All right? So Cordy Glenn, part of the process. Richie Incognito, part of the process. He's got one more year on his deal, and the guy's a, an all-pro. The guy's a pro bowler. He hasn't showed sign of slowing down. He's had a few things that's happened uh, during the year, but he's solid all around. Now, I'm going to throw a wrinkle in this. If we cut Richie Incognito, we save ourselves six million dollars. Keep that in mind because that nothing surprises me anymore with with McBean. They let Sammy Watkins go, Ronald Darby, Reggie Raglan. Um, the list goes on and on. So nobody is safe on this team. So Richie Incognito, as much as it makes no sense for us to cut him financially, it does. But we just lost Eric Wood. So you need to you need to keep the best lineman on the squad. So look for Richie Incognito to come back and finish his career in Buffalo. Ryan Groy, part of the process. We just lost Eric Wood. And I'll make the, I'll put those two together. Eric Wood's retiring. So he's already out of the picture. Ryan Groy, look for Ryan Groy to be part of the process and taking over the center position. Right guard and right tackle. Let's just get right into it. The right guard is up for grabs, and so is right tackle. Look for us to be looking at them in the mid mid-draft, mid-level draft to look for a guy to bring in uh, to, to man the right guard position or the right tackle. It's going to be one or the other or look for a guy that's versatile enough to do both. So, John Miller, you are part of the problem because I feel that they are going to ship you off or cut you. If they bench you for, for Vlad Dukas, I don't see you coming back. I think Vlad Dukas stays and you're gone. Central Henderson and Jordan Mills. That's the right tackle position that you got to be looking for. Uh, I don't see Central Henderson coming back, unfortunately. That 10-game suspension, not being able to regain his positioning with the Crohn's disease and all the weed and all that good stuff. I think they're just going to part ways with Central Henderson and hold on to Jordan Mills as uh, as depth or someone to compete with the person at right tackle. So, uh, Central Henderson, you're part of the problem. Um, and I'm going to put my man Jordan Mills as part of the process for now. Look for this whole old line to be revamped. Um, and to put in some serviceable guys. Uh, if we don't put in some really strong guys, look for guys that are solid enough that can hold the line and a quarterback that can get rid of the ball quickly. So, folks, that is the old line room. If you guys disagree with some of the things I said, let me know. Um, if you guys, how do you guys feel about the Richie Incognito thing? You heard it here first. There could be uh, a cut happening, but I just can't see it happening. So, that's what it is comment leave your you leave your comments in the comment section it's your boy rico and i'm gone